Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in the awesome Endling Extinction is Forever. Now this was developed by Hero Beat Studios, published by Handy Games, and is usually available for £24.99 or $29.99. Gotta be a Game Pass game eventually, right? And if it's already on there while you're listening, go get Game Pass and play it right now. See, covering both aspects there. Anyway, we play as a mother fox, more affectionately known as Mother Fox, whose job it is to keep her four cubs alive. We need to avoid enemies, hunt animals, and get other food so our babies survive. It truly is a fantastic game. Now, achievements-wise, a lot it's sort of is everywhere, but it is still pretty straightforward. So there's a few miscellaneous ones, very easy ones. Uh, we then need to pet our cubs for five days straight, not hunt an animal for five days straight, don't eat any trash for six days, we need to find all 16 different foods to eat in the game, and most importantly, we need all cubs to survive. Now, there are four separate achievements related to that, so if one dies, it permanently dies until you start a new game. I will get more into that in just a little bit, but it is not as hard as I just made it out to be, so uh, life's still all good. All in all, you're looking at around maybe three to four hours to get this done, so with that being said then, let us begin. And we're immediately going to be thrust into a sort of tutorial level, it's going to tell us how to do things, so press A to interact and jump. Obviously the left stick to move, the right trigger to sprint, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this bit. So, yeah, this isn't the uh, real bit first, you're sort of just, you know, burning alive and... Now what this game is... It's kind of a sad reflection on the world these days. Um, you know, this game seems to have a very important message of if we keep doing, press uh, the A button there to repeatedly dig, by the way. Again, anytime that comes up, it'll always tell you on screen anyway. Uh, but it does have a very subtle and very important message. Basically, if we keep doing the, the things we're doing, we are all going to burn alive or freeze to death. So, yeah, climate change, get on it. It's quite important. Anyway, that's my uh, political stance in the game done. Now we're just going to go nuts and do some stuff. So, keep hitting right for the time being, basically, until we get to this bit, which means... Almost death! Luckily not death. So what we have to do is go to the left. We're going to stop just past this next sign here. And as you can see, any time you see a little ledge with little bits of moss or whatever on it, that means we can jump up on it. So, always press the A button to jump up. Keep heading to the left, now we're going to press and hold the A button to climb. So anytime we uh, see something that we can climb, just press and hold the A button. Keep heading to the right, and the tutorial is basically done. Now there is another thing, there's basically, if we get caught by an enemy, um, you can't really ever get caught, but basically if an enemy comes up to you and tries to hurt you or whatever, you're going to come up to this next mini game. You've got to spam the A button as quick as you can. Don't worry about this time, this always happens. The deer is on fire. Now that is going to make some lovely deer meat, by the way. You've always got to take the positives with the negatives. That, that's my aspect in life. So at least he's going to taste delicious. He's already been cooked for us. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no. No. But in another way, yes. So what we're going to do, it is going to start raining. We're going to get our first achievement as soon as we cross the road and not get run over, which would always be handy. So as soon as we cross the road, we're going to press the B button to bark three times. So you won't see him unlock it on screen, but stay here, press the B button three times, and you should get the achievement called Barking in the Rain. Um, again, it does really, if you do somehow miss it now, you can get it a little bit later on, which is all good. And for now, we're going to keep heading to the right. We're going to go past the car. Very sad looking state of affairs, but uh, hey, at least we're cooled down now, right? And apparently, we've got a lovely fox tan as well to go for it. Anyway, sorry. So jump up. Keep heading to the left. Now, there is only... You can't actually go sort of up and down. The, the paths are either right or left. So when we get here, we're going to press the A button to jump up again. And we are going to reach our first lair. And, it's good, and it will tell you where it is. There it is. So press and hold the A button. And we are going to go in. And we're going to take a little nap. So, for the first part of this game, this is... Um, so basically three different big areas in the game. All of which you can explore to your leisure, of course. But this is the first one. And you will get used to this one pretty quickly. So a few other things that I need to tell you about then. Quickly while the sad state of affair fox is going on. 
enemies can be in random locations for you. Again, just press and hold the A button here. Enemies can be in random locations for you. Um, which is fine, but that's the only thing that's random. In terms of achievements and everything else, everything is still the same. Um, if you do happen to run into an enemy, as long as you're not injured, and you can get injured if you accidentally fo um, walk into a fox trap, or if an owl tries to, you know, hit you, etc, etc, that means that you're injured. Again, we'll see that a little bit later on. This is just a customization screen, by the way, so you can put the puppies to whatever you want. And then when you're done, just press and hold the A button. But if an enemy does come up to you, again, we can just spam the A button with that little mini game that we've just done with the deer. And normally, you'll give them a little nip and you can walk on by. Like I said, as long as you're not injured. In terms of checkpoints in the game, the only checkpoint is when you start the night. There are 29 nights, so technically 29 levels. So the only checkpoint is when you um, go sort of start at the beginning of the night slash level, if you want to call it that. So... If you get far enough into a night slash level, we'll just keep calling it a night, and you end up dying somehow, you'll just have to replay the night again. Uh, luckily, they're not too, you know, they're not too long. I think the most is like seven or eight minutes or something like that. Uh, but still, that's just something to be aware of. That's the only checkpoint in the game is when you get back to the cave and have a little rest. There is no uh, chapter select or new game plus as well, so... We need to be getting all the achievements that we possibly can. And obviously I'll let you know just before we uh, start the last night. Just to make sure that you've got absolutely everything. So make sure that you've got basically all the achievements down. All the collectibles and all that stuff done. So uh, that's just a few things then. So what we have to do then for the first night. What we're going to do is head to the left. And we're going to press again the A button to jump down here. Keep going to the right. Now as you see at the beginning there. There was a little kind of looked like a little timer didn't it. So, while we do not have our cubs with us, we have to get back to the uh, lair, our... Um, sometimes there'll be berries in the bushes, it'll always tell you when there is, so don't worry about that, but you can press the A button to go in there. Otherwise, we're going to head to the left and grab a deer. Uh, but yeah, so while we don't have our cubs, we basically need to get back to our cave, back to our little home, before night falls. Anything after that, when we have our cubs with us, then you're absolutely fine. Um... You don't have to rush back and get there before the sun comes up. So, again, I'll just explain that a little bit more when we get there. But for now, as you can see, I just picked up some deer meat. Which will be uh, the first out of 16 for the omnivore achievement for collecting and eating all types of food. So, get back to your cave. And that's basically the first night done. So, again, obviously, timestamps will obviously be in the... Um, timestamps and obviously, hopefully, on the video as well. So press the A button to go back in, feed up them bad boys, and that'll be the first night done. And then you can just press and hold the A button, and we'll start uh, night two. So then this is night two. Now remember, we, we have to not hunt an animal for five days. So if you see a mouse or fish or anything like that, just leave him be for now. So we're going to jump down here, go across this log. Keep going, keep going. And you're going to see another little mossy path or a little uh, cliff edge or little edge that we can jump up here. Uh, so that is what we're going to do is jump up. And in this bush here are a bunch of berries. So press the A button to jump in, press the A button to jump out. And now we can just head all the way back left to the cave. Now, of course, a lot of the time, if you do need some food, of course, because as you can see there, the bottom left corner or the bottom corner, that is the health bar. So obviously, when we're out and about, you will need to be doing some random bits of hunting. Um, obviously, later on, whether it is berries, any animals and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, just always be aware and always keep looking at your health box. So it kind of is, it's an adventure game slash slight survival, but it's a lot easier than other survival games. Uh, so we're going to press and uh, hold the A button here to skip the cutscene. Basically, one of our cubs has now been caught and kidnapped. So our job now is to just keep the three cubs alive for the time being, which is fine. So left bumper, of course, to sniff out some stuff and it'll always come up above your head anyway, um, if there's something nearby. So, we still don't have the cubs with us, which is fine. Uh, what we're going to do is just press and hold the left bumper here. Now, we're going to get these levels a lot, where there's like a purple scent, as it were. So, as you can see, as we can keep going, these purple scents will always be there. So, they don't fall off in any random location or anything like that. 
when you press the left bumper, this little scene sort of happens, as you can see. Dude's a big guy. What's he want to the little fox? Man, must be worth millions, or you must really be hungry. Um, so, yeah. So, anytime... Again, we do get a couple of these knights and levels, so you just got to keep pressing the... Uh, keep pressing the left bumper button and then just following the track. You don't have to go off the beaten path or anything like that. You're literally just following that. So that is owl good, baby. So we're all good. What we're going to do is jump back up here and then now we just need to find some more food. We can either find some more food or you can just go back. Uh, what we're going to do is head back down, sort of to the right here. Uh, just where we got the berries on night two. Because uh, we are going to head back. So as you can see there, just on top of the fox's head, it was kind of like a little spidey sense thing, wasn't it? Oh, hey, my spidey sense is tingling. Oh, my fox sense is tingling. God damn. So anytime you see that then, that means there will be food nearby. So again, that's always something else to keep um, in your mind while we do that. Now there is also, and you see me do this for the next couple of nights, um... Basically, the game can penalise you as you go back here onto the left. So, when you have the Cubs, okay, when you have the Cubs and you come back too early, if it's still really early in the night, you will see the health bar deteriorate quite a bit, the hunger bar or whatever it's called. Basically, the game penalises you if you go back too early. It wants you to go exploring until it sort of starts getting to daytime. So, really, really keep that one in mind. Um... You know, a lot of the times it doesn't matter because we can just go out and find some more food. So, what we're going to do first then, as soon as we've got the cubs here for night four, press the up, uh, press up on the D-pad is what I was trying to say. Leave the animation play out and that'll be your first out of five days then for um, petting your cubs for five days in a row. So, of course, this will be the third day or fourth day where we haven't hunted any animals, but this will be the first day where we pet our cubs for five consecutive days. So if you want your cubs to um, come and follow you quicker, you can just press the B button to bark and they'll come shooting up. But they will be tired, so just keep that one in mind as we head to the right. Next to Mousy Mouse Pig. Now, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have them following your tail all the time. You can actually run off and that's fine. You can run off into the distance, do what you need to do and then come back. Press the A button here to jump over any of these traps. If you do fall into one, um, as we continue going to the right here... And what we're going to do, we're going to jump up this little cliff edge, and then we're going to go all the way to the right again. So do that. But if you do end up um, accidentally going into one of those traps, basically you just get injured and you sort of um, walk on three legs for about a minute or so. But that is where you should avoid the enemies. So if you injure yourself and you come up to an enemy, basically that enemy is going to knock you dead, and you have to replay the night again. And this is where we get the second omnivore, a third omnivore, sorry. So that'll be, of course, the third one after the berries. So we've got the deer meat, the berries, and the apple right there. Uh, but again, don't panic because um, there's plenty of apples and plenty of food throughout the game. Anyway, but that should be the third omnivore. So yeah, always keep in mind, if you get injured, just walk around by yourself until you're back to full health. Kind of like a COD style, you know, you're bleeding out. But apparently, just waiting there makes you all better. And uh, what we can do, if you want some more food, which is exactly what we're doing actually. So, when you've got the apple there, go and grab the berry as well. But do not feed them just yet. Do not feed them. We're going for the achievement called Tasty right now. So, we've got the apple. What we're going to do, grab the berries here. We're going to go all the way left now, back to the cave. And like I said, you can just run all the way back to the cave if you want. The dogs don't get hunted by enemies. They don't get hunted by anything. So, you don't actually have to worry about them which I didn't realise until about halfway through the game. Um, so, yeah, we are going to get the achievement called Tasty. So when we get back to the cave, drop the berry with the X button, feed them, and then immediately go in. As soon as your health is full, then we're going to go in. Now, as you can see, the health was full, but it also went down. And that is exactly what I mean by, because we went back too early, and we didn't do enough exploring, the game penalised me by taking off some of the hunger bar, but... Because we went back with the hunger full, technically, that is why we get the tasty achievement. If you don't get it yet, again, do not panic because there's literally so much food that we will grab a little bit later on. So don't worry if you don't have it yet. We'll grab that boy later on. Righto, so remember to press up on the D-bat here to give you a little pet, a little cub. Yeah, you a good boy. Who's a good... I want a baby fox until it starts getting teeth and bites the crap out of us. Cute. 
So, what we're going to do then is we're going to start heading to the right. And what we're going to do is basically like a whole loop of the area. Uh, you press the select button, by the way, if you want to view the map. Uh, but we're just going to keep on going right. Again, you can literally just sprint off if you want. But because of the whole penalize, you know, the game penalizing you thing. Again, you can go back if you want, uh, because there, again, there is plenty of food. As we press the A button here to jump up on this little cliff edge, or this little edge, sorry, it's not a cliff, is it? Um, so you can go back if you want, but if you prefer to try and keep the hunger bar, uh, hunger bar nice and full, just sort of have a wander around um, until the game... Now, this is also another thing what the game does. When it starts getting to daytime, it will tell you that you need to sort of basically go... It tells you that you need to go back, but again, you don't have to rush as we just go on to the right here. This is basically just another way. Uh, this is an unlockable sort of gate that we can now, uh, as you can see, when we press the select button, it means that we can now get through that. The path is no longer locked. But yeah, so what you'll see it as it starts coming to daytime, the game will actually show you the way home. So when it starts getting to the sun icon, about a quarter of the way through, it'll start, it'll tell you the way to go home. So if you get lost or whatever, you can either use the map or you can just wait until it gets to sort sort of daytime and the game, like I said, will tell you the way home. So again, we are not going to be hunting anything, make sure not to hunt anything for now, you will get the achievement called Peaceful Instinct for not hunting animals for five days after this night. So when we jump down, what we're going to do, there, as there's our lair, lair, baldy lair as you can see, so head to the right. Again, no need to panic, there's no enemies or anything just yet, it's really literally just about getting used to the game and seeing what it has to offer in this snow cold hellhole. So press and mash the A button there to dig up, or to dig through, jump up on this edge here on the right and we will be back home. So again, if you don't want to lose any more hunger, you can obviously just wait around until um, basically the game tells you. So it obviously tells you how much hunger that you're going to lose before you go in. So obviously the more you carry on, the less hunger you lose. Before it gets to daytime, you won't lose any. So again, that's something to keep an eye, about, uh, an eye on because it took me a while to figure out actually what the hell was going on the first time I played through this game. So I'm letting you know nice and early just in case. But I think it took me to like night eight or night nine to realize, all oh, right, so that's what that does because <laughs> I'm starting to lose my nut. So here we are then, night six. And remember, of course, to pet your cub, and obviously the peaceful instinct. As long as you haven't hunted an animal for five days, you should now get the peaceful instinct, or you should have already got that one. So, what we're going to do, we're going to head right here, so jump down. We are now going to hunt our first thing. So, what we need to do then... Um, oh, so we're obviously on one of those levels as well. So, we're finding the our little fox cubs savagey thing. So, anyway, coming back to that, press the right bumper, and that'll put you into basically sneak mode. So, when one of the animal hides in a bush or anything, you can press the A button when you're very close to it. And that'll pounce it, and that'll count towards one of your omnivores. So, obviously, when you see the yellow line, or green line, whatever the hell line that is, kind of colorblind right now, press A to jump over the trap, of course. Right bumper, make sure to hold that one. And you can see that it is right in the bush. So, as soon as you get close to it, press the A button. Pouncy, pounce. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, yeah, who wants a mouse to eat? I don't know what the hell that just was, but that is how you do that. And that'll be the fourth out of... 16 different kind of foods that we're going to eat. So, if you want again, of course, we can just jump up to the left here and grab another berry. Always worth doing. Oh, you know, always worth trying to keep it as full as you can. If not, um, you know, it really doesn't matter because the, the more we go through the game, the bigger the, the bigger the meat in terms of chicken gives you a lot of hunger, a lot less hunger, sorry, so a lot more health bars, so do rabbits, etc. So we're going to jump up here, and then we're going to start heading down to the right. Now we're going to start seeing our first sort of enemies, and enemies are just literally people walking around. Um, so again, press the left bumper when you get to one of these to find a scene. And that is the scavenger and his daughter. Now before anyone goes, well it could be a she, well it could be a frying pan, who knows? Well, no, it's it's a he, because I've already played through the game, so I already know what it is. Sorry. Oh, I already know what he is. Unless, of course, he identifies as a fishing rod or something. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do now is head under here. So that will be our second one, I think, that we've done. So we're going to head under here. 
right next to where we just found that piece of stuff. And again, just keep pressing the left bumper there to find the scent. So we will always need to find three items when we get onto levels like this. And there it is. Job done. Now what we are... What are we? What are we? What are we? What are we? No, no, we're fine. So we are going to go to the left. If you want, if you feel like you need some hunger, or if you need something to eat to feed your cubs with, go to the left here. There should always be a mouse sort of running about. So again, just do the same thing. Press the right bumper to sort of get into stalky stalk mode. And when you get there, press the A button when you're nice and close. There we go. And then, of course, press the X button to drop the food. Eat. Suckle from the mouse's teat of life. So, if you need some more food, there is a berry bush just up here to the right. Now, there is a enemy and a man that walks about and runs about. Um, he doesn't run about, he walks very slowly. So, here he comes. So, what you're going to see is an, a yellow exclamation mark on screen. That basically means that I think he's aware of your presence. When it turns red, that means he is chasing you and you have to run away. So as you'll be able to see here, so I'm just taking my time. Um, so as you can see, he kind of like a Metal Gear Solid thing, you know, or kind of like any, you know, any game. Somebody's aware that you're there. Somebody's like, I heard something. I mean, if he just opened his eyes, he could probably see us. But um, so, yeah, if you actually ended up running into him, we're not injured. So you'd spam the A button, do the mini game, you'd nip his finger. You would then get injured, but you can walk away, so it wouldn't be a problem. So, as you can see then, we are coming into daytime. Don't panic. Do not rush. You don't have to get home, uh, anything like that. I know the game said at the beginning you've got to get home before the night ends, but that was only when your cubs were in the cave lair. So, now that we've got them with us, you don't have to rush home like I thought it was. But as you can see, on screen, you are seeing exactly where you need to go to get home. So, which again, is a pretty cool aspect of the game, because it can be quite daunting, quite confusing, um, sort of potentially to get home sometimes. So, if you are struggling, like I said, just wait until it starts getting into daytime, and uh, the game will show you the way home. So, just follow the arrows, Joe! And of course, what you can see is that you can just leave your cubs behind, and that's all good. But as you can see, because we've got there um, sort of more towards the day, I don't lose any health this time. We also get the detox diet for not feeding our cubs trash for six days in a row. Now, if you wonder what trash is, it's literally crap from a bin bag. So it's not like, oh, I had some chocolate, oh, that's trash, or I, <laughs> I had a salad that balances it out right lovely. <laughs> I had a Diet Coke with a, my $16 pound bucket meal. Yes, that balances it out. Lovely. No, nothing like that. No, it's literally trash from a trash bag. So that is the detox diet done. Remember that again, press up on the D-pad there to pet your cub. Make sure you know who's boss and make sure they know who's the lover, lover, lover. Right. Anyway, from here, we're going to go down here to the right. Again, sort of more towards the mouse once again. We're going to climb up this first edge. And we're going to just keep running down. And what we're going to see is we're actually coming to a miserable achievement here. Uh, but we're going to press the B button when we see the guitar singing lady. Press the A button to jump over the traps, of course. Uh, somehow your kids just don't, do, doesn't, doesn't bother them because they don't die. Apart from if you starve them to death. So try not to do that, of course. So keep going all the way down, all the way right. Uh, you can, of course, if you want to get up some of their health, you can press the A button next to this tree. And you can probably just hear on your screen anyway, not mine, because I'm talking crap as per usual. As the uh, kids eat some apples, you can probably hear the guitar and the lady singing. Just keep heading all the way down here. There she is. Press the B button just one time. And there we go. That is going to get us the Barking Fox Doesn't Bite achievement. There he is. So, we are going to do one more thing in Night 7, and that is to grab us another Omnivore, and that is to get the fish. So, obviously, you know, I've already said it once, I've already said it twice, I'll just tell you one more time. Um, obviously, when you get back to the cave, if you are there too early, 
and you see that some of the health bar there at the bottom is being taken away, you can actually just sort of walk around for a bit, or it's probably worth just just uh, having a look around, grab some food, and then go back when it's more towards daytime. That'll be the last time I talk about it. I personally wouldn't go ahead and lose health too many times, because, especially on night 9, I think, it, I almost end up uh, <laughs> killing one of my uh, cubs off. So, yeah, probably always worth just having a little scavenge for food, and uh, go back when it's more towards daytime. So it's the last time I'll talk about that, since you know what to do now. So we're climbing under the fence, or digging under the fence this time again. And then all we're going to do then, we're just going to basically keep heading left until we get to the river. So just keep on flying down for a minute. And here we are, so get into sneak mode with the right bumper. And again, of course, press the left bumper if you always want to see where the uh, scent is. Press the A button when you're next to the fish. That is the next omnivore done. And then you can just press the X button, leave the kitties, have a little hang, 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 hang. And then that's job done. So what we're going to do now, we are basically done here. Again, if you want to wait until it's daytime so you don't lose any health, more than welcome to do that and have a look around. Otherwise, there's nothing else to do. So we're going to go all the way to the right, dig under the fence, climb up to the right again, and go for a little snooze. It's a hard life being a fox, say. Me, 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 me. So, welcome to night eight, and we're all chilling, killing, smoking that fox bird. So what we're going to do, for here we're going to head to the left. Now, we basically got, we're going to do three things. So press up on the D-pad, of course, and this should be your achievement for petting your cubs five days in a row. That should be the mother love achievement done. There it is. There we go. So, if you don't have it, remember you've got to pet your cubs at least once for five days straight, as you can see right there. So... If you haven't got it yet, you probably missed one. So just remember, every time you start a new night, just press up on the D-pad to give them a little, uh, little lick on the old ear bags, and job done. So we're going to go all the way to the left, basically where we were at the very beginning of the game. Um, that is for a new skill that we find a little bit later on. So we all, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, we have to go around and find these new skills. There are six skills to find for our little cubs, um, and you actually have to find them. Two of them you get automatically, but the rest you have to find. So, go all the way over to the left, press uh, press the A button, spam it a couple of times. Sometimes, as you press X to, of course, to drop the food, sometimes it might come to a point where the bin bag gets stuck in your head, so you, again, have to quickly press A just to get out of it, that's all. Uh, but, again, that can happen at random times. Um, so, yeah, there's only a couple of things that can happen at random times. Just little mini-games like that, and... I think on night... In fact, you might have already encountered some. An, an owl. So I don't encounter any for a while yet. Um, but you may have already encountered an owl, which you just have to sneak by. So, um, But we do need to scare an owl. Uh, have that owl attack one of our kids for a, the lullaby achievement. But I'll show you again more later on. So from here, what we're going to do, we're not going home just yet. We are going to help a little badger. Because, you know, broskies are bros. Right, Brosk? Bad. So what we're going to do, go right past the cave. We're going to uh, keep going. Uh, basically, all we're doing is keep going right. And you're going to see a badger that has just been trapped in a trap. And he can't get out. Oh, because he loves foxes too much. Burr, burr, yeah. So all the way to the right, past this little edge. And then what we're going to see is the badger of life. There it is. So press the, uh, spa uh, hit the A button, spam the A button there to help the badger. Badger goes, <laughs> you're a dick, mate. Sorry, we thought we just needed help. But anyway, that gets us the a friend in need achievement. So uh, what you can do is head up to the right here. 
Uh, have a look in some bushes and stuff like that if you want. Um, or we can just keep going home. But what we're going to do is head to the right. We're going to go jump over the trap. Make sure to jump over the track. Uh, trap. There is a berry here. Because, of course, obviously I've been going home quite early. So, as you can see, my health or the cub's hunger is not as fantastic as it was. So, obviously, that's why I've just gone and grabbed a little few more berries. If you've got pr pretty reasonable health, um, you can pretty much just head home from here, in all fairness. Because that's all we're going to be doing right now. So from here, we're just going to head all the way to the left, basically until we are back at the cave. So you don't have to go anywhere else for now. Um, yeah, but of course, always remember, like I said, wait till daytime um, if you don't want to lose any health. Now, I promise that is the last time I'm going to speak about that. I'm pretty sure you got that by now. So, welcome to Night 9. This is another one of those finding, yeah, you know, the purple lines, finding the scavenger's items. But this is also one where, I think it's only now where I realised why my health bar was going down. Because for some, again, for some reason I couldn't get grips to it. I, I thought I was knackering the kids out or something by making them run up to me all the time, but it's not that at all. Again, always check the map, of course, if you ever get lost with the select button, of course. Otherwise, what we're going to do now, now I end up doing this quite quickly, because as you can see, the hunger bar is getting a little, uh, well, it's deteriorating just a little bit. Uh, that's why I'm going to go ahead and grab some berries first. Try to see if there was a mouse here. Uh, was there a mouse here? Well, let's find out. The answer is a hell nah. Oh, I didn't think there was, I, I forgot then, but no. There wasn't a mouse there, so I ended up grabbing them some berries, as you can see. Now, this is why I said not to you know, go home as early as I did on all those nights, because of course, the hunger bar starts to deteriorate, and this is one that's going to take a few minutes, by the time we press the left bumper, follow the purple scent, and uh, search for all these scavengers items, but that is what we're just going to be doing first, so again, left bumper, follow the scent, and again, you obviously press the left bumper when you get to there to sniff that, bring up the scene, and just make sure to do that three times. I mean, it's three different items, of course, that we need to see. That's what I'm trying to get at. So again, don't panic, no enemies around here, but I am going to rush because as you can see, my health bar gets quite low. Now they don't die straight away, so don't panic, but you do only have a little bit of time. Basically, the one of the cubs is going to go red, um, and it's going to have an exclamation mark basically telling you that it needs food. So you'll be able to see this. Now obviously I've kept these in the games because it may happen to you. And uh, so we're going to get some trash right here, by the way. So as you can see, we are going to... Get some trash pretty quickly. Go on, drop it. So again, I thought they'd die straight away, but they do have a little bit of time where they get uh, have a little bit of food. So, like I said, a trash bag should always be there for you if needed. But again, hopefully you've gone a little bit better than I have. But again, I've kept these little, not mistakes, but these little parts in the game. Because if I just show you full health all the way through, nothing happens, then obviously you're going to think that's as easy as it is. But... No, that can happen at some point in the game, so that's why I've left it. There's another mouse that you can find as well to um, eat, get some more food. Uh, but yeah, so again, that is why, 
like with the health bar thing, you go back too early. I wanted to let you know about that. Um, if you end up getting one of the cubs starving, obviously just wanted to let you know and show you that they don't die straight away. So that's why I've kept it in. So from now, it should be a pretty much smooth, smooth enough run as I don't think there's anything else that can really go wrong. Obviously, I'll be showing you what to do when we deal with an enemy, etc. later on. But again, it's just very, very easy. Um, so, pretty much, I think... No, we're going to get the skill dig now. Sorry, we are getting the skill dig. So, from here, we're going to jump up to the right. Basically, where we found the third and final scavenger item. And, again, always worth sniffing out if you are in need of some hunger. I don't think there's anything down here. So, what... Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. So, daytime's coming up, but again, you don't need to rush. Don't panic and think, oh crap, i got to get back quick. Um, that's obviously always fine. So, we can literally, the, the bar can go to empty all, all the way to the right, and it just won't make a difference. So, we're going to jump up on this little edge right here. We are going to get our first out of six um, digs. And the first one is, because this little cub of mine, <laughs> it's hilarious. Isn't it always funny, like, when a baby face plants the floor? Maybe a toddler, then. I shouldn't say baby, because they cry and stuff. Uh, so that's what this is. Toddler face plants the floor. We have a laugh, but we also help them up as well. And what it does as well, it's, uh, it gets my little one and a half inch buddy out as well. It gets a little worm out. Hey, how do they, how do they know the, the, the likeness? That's exactly what my uh, little finger looks like. So, uh, that is the new skill learned. Dig. Now remember, we don't get all the skills automatically. We have to go out of our way to find some. So obviously just be aware of that one. Otherwise, this is pretty much the end of it. So now what we can do, um, obviously if it is coming up daytime to you, you can just follow the arrows home. If not, you can just follow the way I go home and, uh, well, <laughs> job's your nans, mate. Job done. Four hours later, we are on to night 10. So, we are on to night 10, and... Uh, now, what may happen, what may happen... We're going to go to the right, but basically there is a guy. This is uh, this is what I'm just going to show you what an enemy looks like. So, if an enemy comes up to you, you can go ahead, go up to him, spam the A button there, before the red timer runs out of the bottom, you give him a nip. You do, like I said earlier, you do get injured, but you can just walk past him or you can walk away from him and that'll be fine. Um, but apparently you can unlock the lullaby achievement here. So if you pet one of your cubs now, basically if your cubs, one of your cubs gets scared, you can press the up arrow on the D-pad to pet them. And uh, basically just to, you know, reassure them that everything's gonna be alright except extinction, we're all gonna die anyway. But they're just toddler cubs, they don't need to know that. But that is where you can get the lullaby achievement. If not, if you don't unlock it there like I didn't, we need to just find an owl. Uh, get the owl to scare one of the cubs. And then press up on the D-pad to comfort them. I'll show you on this night actually, it is this night that I show you. So what we're going to do, we're going to head up to the right here. Because I'm uh, sensing something, my foxy senses are tingling. 
Or is that just my eight nips that I have? Not me personally, I meant the fox. I was talking to the fox. I haven't got eight nips. I've barely got two. The tiniest things in the world, my nips. So there's a rabbit then. So you can just go ahead, of course, right bumper to hold and sneak. Kill that boy. And as you can see, we're going to get a lot of health there from that rabbitimo. So that is job done. But that is the eighth out of 16 carnivores now. So what we're going to do then, we're going to head left. But we're not going to go into the river where we got the fish earlier on. Oh, no, 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 no. We are going to keep going down. And like I said, you can sprint away from the cubs. So don't worry. They can't get hurt or anything like that. Of course, for the first sort of half of the game, I, I got worried. They're just little and so cute. And they face plant mud, apparently. You can get suffocated. So I don't really trust them. But there is going to be an enemy up here, uh, which you can actually just sneak past. So you can climb up. Uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do eventually. Press and hold the A button to climb up. Uh, so a couple of these trees, you can find usually a little crate that you can push over. And it'll have a bit of food in them as well. So push it over, walk around, and the cubs are going to nom nom on that nom. And this is where the enemy is then. So, now you can come here on one of the other nights. Um, basically, what you can do, I think it would work every time. But if you come here, if you came here on a different night, you could basically lure the enemy away. So, go behind him, bark, go to the left and jump into the bush to come out. And then when you come back, I think this guy disappears. Um... So I'm going to show you sort of the luring and stuff like that anyway. So go behind him, bark, jump into the bush, which is right here. And he's going to be like, wow, what the hell? Where did those foxes just go? I didn't see anything jump into that bush. What was that big noise? Who knows? Now, again, on a different night, you can go home. And I think when you come back here on night 10, which, of course, is the night that we're on now, uh, he will be gone, which... You know, I mean, you can get through to the next bit a little bit quicker, I suppose. Otherwise, what we're going to do is just sneak past him all the way. Um, yeah, that, that's uh, what we could have just done in the first place. So, yeah, kind of the other way kind of seems like a bit of a waste of time now, doesn't it? But anyway, when we sneak past him, he will be aware, but he ain't getting under here. There is a mushroom that we're going to grab a little bit later on, but we're going to be coming up to a new skill to grab now. The skill of squeezing and pleasing. Or, not the pleasing, but it is just squeezing. So we're going to head to the right. And then we're going to press the A button to jump over this little gap. And of course, because they're just toddlers, they're very funny. They can be cute and smart, but they're also kind of dumb sometimes. So, uh, you know, if that's one of your toddlers trying to jump over a gap, I, I wouldn't advise against it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I'm just joking. Toddlers are awesome. Especially when they scream death, bloody murder at you for... You know, if, if you say, there's your drink on the table, but they wanted yours, so they scream at you instead. <laughs> yeah, anyone with toddlers knows. So go over to the left anyway, press the white button, and this is the new skill learned. Squeeze through. That'd be good to teach your toddler. Hey, look at that. Look at that over there, the price of cost living. Go get some petrol for me, kid. Go on, squeeze through there, get some petrol, come back out, come on. Um, anyway, when that one is learned, we can now jump up. And what other two cubs are going to be all good? And we can head to the left. Now we're going to get the next omnivore, which is the next mushroom. So head to the left. Down here. And then when, whenever you run past something like this, normally um, the one of the pups will go immediately there. So just move to the left or right a little bit. And the option to kick him in with the Y button should appear. Eventually, as soon as you turn around, there we go. So if that Y button doesn't appear, um, just move to the left or right a little bit. Which is also fine. And that will be Omnivore 9 out of 16 already. So that is the mushroom. Whoa, dude. <laughs> kind of magic-y, which is fine. Uh, which is not fine. Right, now there are two ways that you can get home. So obviously at the minute, it's telling you to go left. So I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, if the enemy is still there, 
he will basically spot you immediately as you go out and he'll try and chase you. So if the enemy's there, there's basically no way that you're getting through that way. But that is fine. Of course, there are plenty of ways to get home. And especially since the kids are on the magic mushroom now, we they're just going to act like they're on a flying carpet. So head down here. Get a little bit of trash that you can have. I don't know, feed the kids some trash. That's just what happens. You know, you're tired after a long day's work. Just chuck... <laughs> Just chuck, just give them trash. Kids love trash. It's what they do. Keep heading to the left. And keep heading to the left. And eventually there is something that we can dig out. Now I'm going to also be showing you the lullaby achievement as well. Now, like I said, owls are going to be uh, in uh, placed in random locations throughout your game. You may have already seen one. You may not have seen one yet. So, if you haven't seen one yet, this is how you get the lullaby achievement. You're going to hear them. So when you hear them, start pressing the right bumper to, to, you know, sneak past them if you so wish. But of course, for the lullaby achievement, we're not going to do that. Um, so yeah, yeah, that that's the map. Yep. Yeah. So the the owl is right here. So it's going to wake up and go, "Holy crap, man!" So stay by your cub. Press the A button to get rid of the owl. Your cub is going to crap its little pants. The sort of mushroom high has faded, and now he's just crapped his pants. Just all you got to do then is press up on the D-pad to... Oh, there you go, buddy. It's okay. Mama here. Mama's eight nips are here for you, buddy. And then when that's done, that is how you get the lullaby achievement. So very easy. I don't think it does work with the human enemies. I think it only seems to work with the owl enemies. So, well, job done. Otherwise, that is night 10 complete. So, get home. Take a nap. You've earned it. Now, there's not actually a lot to do for Night 11. There's no missable achievements, no skills we need to grab, no uh, new food or anything like that. Um, there's basically... I mean, there's nothing to do. So, all I do is basically, I just go on the hunt um, anyway. So, it's going to take a couple of minutes. What you can do is basically just go ahead, feed up your kids, and then go back to the cave if you so wish. That'll only take literally a minute or two. So what I ended up doing is is jumping up the first edge right here. Um, and I'm going to tell you exactly where I go. Obviously, jump over the trap. We don't need that. Caught in a trap. Oh, my God, my fruit. Jump down the pipes here. And basically, what we're going to see then is this little badger type thing. Uh, but the badger comes over, gives us some grubby grubs. So, yeah, of course, you may have already come up here if you sort of went went a wandering while you were waiting for the daytime to happen. But if not, this is um, basically just where, on the forefront of the screen is where we found the mouse earlier. And with the bushes and uh, the berry bush and stuff like that. So, kind of familiar, but kind of not. So, uh, Badger gives us a little berry. Cheers for that. Muck bag. You can go ahead and grab a berry if you want. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, Badger's just angry, man. Badgers basically act like they've got a berry literally up their ass 24-7. Literally. Ah, something's itchy up there, but I can't quite get it because I'm a badger and I've got... I can't reach that way, I don't think. How do badgers wipe their butt? How do certain animals wipe their ass? I suppose they just do it on grass, don't they? How do they wipe their ass? Straight on the grass. So we're going to jump down. What we do is, again, if you want to grab the mouse, you can do that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is basically tell you exactly where I'm going now. We jump up here, and all I'm doing is just going left. All I've done on this particular one is waste some time, because I don't want to get back uh, too early, you know, and lose a lot, a chunk of health. So, I'm basically, what I'm all, all, like I said, all I'm doing on this one is just wasting time until it starts getting to daytime. I am literally just heading all the way left. So there's nothing else to do on this night. But again, if you want, you can just go ahead, feed up your kids, go back to the cave, and just lose a bit of health if you want to.
It's night 12, and this is basically the final night that we're going to spend in this lair. So, this is another one of those follow the purple scent, follow the purple line until we get. Who knocked my tower down? Yo, Salva! That's climate change luck. And they will tell you Greta Thunberg is going to come in your. A uh, wait. Greta Thunberg is going to punch you in the dick. Greta Thunberg's coming for you. She did warn, she did say, didn't she? Look. And this is exactly what's happening. Greta Thunberg is going to come and strike you down. Anyway, all we're doing is simply, simply lovely. We are just following these scent marks, which of course is not in the middle here. Uh, but what I am going to do, ju just uh, while I'm nipping off the track, I'm just going to go up. So we're going to grab a berry just for a little bit of eats. There we go. Go on, kids, get that down your neck before Greta Thunberg comes and kicks you in the bows. And then, if we jump up here and go to the left, there is some more trash for us to eat as well. So that's just if you want to, uh, you know, get get the bellies nice and full. So if you ever see, if if I am on one of these beaten, to sort of, you know, follow the purple scent ones, and I go off the beaten path, it's usually just to find some food or anything like that. So. If your belly's full, you can just carry on following the scent and getting all the items and the scavenger scenes, cutscenes. Or you can just follow me and grab some more food for your starving little toddler bags as well. Otherwise, follow the scenty, 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 follow the scenty, scenty! And of course, remember, anytime you see any of these little patches with the paw print on top, um, if one of your uh, little pups goes in there, you can just press the white button. Remember, just like with the squeeze through earlier with the mushroom, to um, whip out a worm. It'll always be my one and a half inch worm, but not my personal one, of course, uh, my pet. Um, that'll always be buried in there, so just for a little bit of food. Uh, if you don't want to do that, you can literally just run by and they'll go, Ah, oh, well, screw you, ma. And you will run on. Anyway, we are coming up to the new area, the second layer, which is the forest area. And there it is then, so you should get another two achievements there, which we should already have, the Never Give Up, Never Give Up, and Surviving Achievements. So, with that, we are, in, like I said, into the new area, the second area out of three of the game, which is the forest area. And really, like I said, we're, you know, we're almost an hour into the guide, but playing it really didn't feel that long. That, that's, that's what I really like about this game, it's... It's a nice experience, and it really doesn't feel sort of as long as it does. Um, but, yeah. So, for this one, there is not a lot that is going on. All we're going to be doing is grabbing an egg, which is the first eat 
First bit of eats, new bit of eats, so it'll be omnivore 10 out of 16. So what we're going to do then, we can head all the way to the right, and we're going to eventually see a tree that we can climb up. This one, you can probably see, just see the two eggs already there. So, press and hold the A button to climb up. Grab the egg, of course, with the X button. And then just press the A button once to climb back down. And then when you do that, you can feed feed your eggs. Uh, feed, feed your eggs. Feed your eggs the kids. Go away, kids. Um, of course, there are, you know, there's, just like the first area, there's quite a bit to do if you want to go exploring and stuff like that. But quite honestly, um, we're not going to do that. So you can either wait out if you don't want to lose any health. You can either wait it out just a little bit. Um, I think... Yes, I end up just going to the left here, grabbing some berries. So you can either wait it out until the daytime so you don't lose that much health, or you can have a little wonder about if you want to, or if you don't want to and you just can't be asked, that's fine, we're just going to lose a chunk of health, which I eventually do anyway. So I pretty much just grab a berry and then head back to the... It's not a cave anymore, is it? It's our second layer, the aeroplane wings or something. Yeah, that's what I do anyway. Also, here is where I do the tasty achievement for getting the cubs a full belly just before we go actually back into the lair. So if you didn't manage to get it earlier on, now's a perfect time to do it as there's basically no enemies about. There's a lot of eggs, a lot of berries and stuff, so worth doing if you haven't done it yet. If not, we're all good, we're going to lose a little bit of health, and we're, um, well, that's dead. Bring on night 16! So this is another night then that's not really, we haven't got really a lot to do, it's another bit of exploring. We are going to get the 11th out of 16 omnivores for another bit of food, so we're going to head all the way to the right, all the way past the tree, and we're going to, we are going to explore a little bit further, but not too much. Now the scavenger may be here pointing, a sh a sh pointing and shining a light at you. And basically, if he catches you and shoots you, um, you will die in one shot. So just wait until he stops shining the light at you, and then walk to the next uh, little tree or something else. Now, every time you bark and your puppies come following you, they can't actually get what I believe is just too tired to do, like digging and squeezing through and stuff like that. So um, if it happens, just pick them up with the X button, and just sort of drop them by wherever it is, and they should go into it. And then you can press the Y button there to pop them in. Um... So yeah, if you need something happening, just don't call them, just wait till they come to you, and job done. But that is the uh, 11th, that was 16 now, omnivores, for the can. So we'll do that one. Um, and again, pretty much, that's all there is. He's going to be in this area, by the way, so the scavenger can be right here, pointing his gun at you, so you've just got to go from tree to tree, trying not to die. If he's not there, then job done. Um... Otherwise, once again, this is just a case of um, having a little jump down, having a look for anything to eat. Um, if, you, if your cubs are feeling a bit hungry, and that's pretty much it. So then what we can do from here when we get to the top bit, just walk all the way left until we get back to the lair. There's nothing else much doing on this night again. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, watch out actually, because as we start spreading to the left, there is going to be an enemy just by our lair. So just be aware of that one. Again, all you got to do is spam the A button, and then you can go home and take a snooze after crapping your fox pants. Oh no! So yeah, I mean, you can run away and try and hide in a bush, but you know what? It's generally quicker and easier just to bite him and then nip off. Um, but of course, if you want to wait till the daytime, it's probably worth trying to hide off somewhere. Yeah, you know, up to you. That's what I like about this game. There's a couple of different options you can always choose for stuff. Which is pretty darn handy. And apparently I'm going to go and get a berry first before heading home. So yeah, anytime I see our little mother fox, uh, is it, it, her ears pointing down, I always have a little pet with my little cubby cubs, they cheer me up, bigger, bigger. and it's like that in real life with a toddler as well, you're having a crap day, your toddler, after all the screaming and stuff like that, one smile and you're like, <laughs> you melt me like butter, you son of a gun bag. Right, so this is one of those nights then that we are just going for a little following of the old sniff sniff, the old snent snent. Um, so, yeah, avoid the trap, jump up, go sniff out some snuff. Oh, yeah, now from now on, what you'll see, if you see one of these posts, because we're going to, um, there's going to be more enemies that are going to be patrolling areas. So if you see one of these posts, you can mark it up, and towards the end of the night, he will come to this location, uh, basically giving you a straight run home. If you are, um, if you're needing it. Of course, if not, you can always just go a different way anyway. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a good shout. It's a good idea, that one. What did the owl say? Oh crap, I forgot to sneak past him. Yum, 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 yum. Does anybody remember that song? What does the fox say? Yeah, that was, that was weird. It's been a lot of weird songs. The, the fish in the market guy, uh, the, the pen pineapple guy. What the hell was that about? But apparently people with about three brain cells lapped that up and that's why they went viral. Pretty much like every top tick, mostly, uh, mostly every TikTok video. People with three brain cells going, Oh, that's so entertaining, I love TikTok. Uh, of course, not to um, bash TikTok, but, you know, kind of sucks ass a little bit, doesn't it? So, we are just going actually on the hunt for the time being. I'm just trying to grab this rabbit, to be honest, just before I grab the next piece of scavenger item.
Now, we can't actually go ahead and grab it just yet because the scammer's going to be like, What, mate? I'll give you a warning shot. So, what we need to do is climb. And this is actually where we're going to. This bridge is pretty much automatic anyway. So, you help your broski climb. And up he climbs. And that's the new skill learned. So, that's three out of six skills now learned. Climb. We can actually climb up after him. And, um... Somehow he manages to not see us, but there is our little friend Molly, who is the only one that helps us, which is just nice. She gives us a little apple, but the scavenger's like, Oi, daughter, you see the fox, mate? Press the A button once to jump down, and that's pretty much murder she wrote. So now we can sniff the third item. Right there. Now we're going to unlock a path for us as well. So head to the left, press the, uh, smash the A button, and what that does is gives us mouse, and it also gives us a little uh, unlockable path that we can now jump up and jump down from. We're going to be getting a missable achievement in the next night. So for now, um, pretty much that's it. Now that is actually pretty much it. So you can either wait till daytime so you don't lose any health, and actually, we're already there, look. So, personally, I'm already there, so I'm just going to head home. And I'll see you in night 16. So, when I'm in a night 16, I accidentally take a screenshot. That's not an achievement unlocking, so <laughs> don't pan -wark. Uh So, a few things that we are going to do in this night. And the first one is going to get an achievement called You Can Pet the Fox. So, head to the right, and we're going to jump down this little edge that we unlocked right next to Molly's house. So, make sure to jump down. And then go to the right here. And then we're going to jump down again. There it is. Lovely. Right, so jump down. Little scene's gonna happen with Molly. She's gonna feed us. Uh, she's gonna feed our cubs some yum yum grub grubs. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. You kind of looking. What the hell's that on your head? You look fantastic. Looks like you're about to break out in a snip sl at, a, at a Slipknot gig. So press up on the D-pad there and let Molly pet you. Wait until the uh, animation finishes and the achievement unlocks. Because if you actually break it off too early, the achievement won't unlock. And remember, there is no new game, plus there's no chapter select. So make sure that that one unlocks before moving on. So, job done. We're heading down. We're going to the right. I can hear an owl somewhere, but I think it's to the left of me, personally. So that is why you just see me crouch. Otherwise, we can just keep on spamming it and keep on going to the right. And then we're just going to see another one of them little scratchy scratch posts. And there's apparently a rabbit as well, if you fancy uh, grubbing up. You can also hunt the rabbit, but my hunger bar is pretty full, so we're just going to leave that. There is the scratching post of life. So again, the um, the furriers, as they called. The furry people, those who like to watch um, furry animal pornographic images. Very fun by the sounds of things, um, but yes, yeah, so, so anyway, that's what they call the furrier So they'll come to this location for the uh, end of the night So obviously just try and avoid this area, which we will so from here then I obviously grab the rabbit as you can see and then we're going to the right uh, We're just gonna keep on going and we're gonna come up to this sort of new ish looking area So that is all we're going to be doing. So keep on going to the right for the time being. Just keep on spamming. We're coming up to this like chicken barn. That's what it's called, the chicken barn. This is where KFC normally get this stuff. And then they pass the uh, rip-off savings on to you, the consumer, where they charge almost £10 slash $10 for like three skimpy bits of crappy chicken and like five popcorn chickens with uh, not as nice as McDonald's chips. So well done, KFC. Good stuff. Uh, so keep on going to the right. We're going to get an achievement here. As soon as we go under here, a chicken's going to drop, and we're going to press the A button to nab him quickly. 
Nab him, nab him, come on! Press A button, there he goes. So, normally, even if he runs away, you should be quick enough there to go ahead and grab him. But that'll be chicken dinner, and that'll be the next omnivore as well. So that'll be 12 out of 16 now. Um, omnivores. So that'll be the chickens. We've got four left in there. We're also going to be getting the hunt skill as well in, well, less than, less than a minute now. Uh, so let, let the yards eat another apple. Pretty rotten to the core, but we, you know, we actually eat worse than uh, foxes and other animals do, to be fair. Uh, this scene will always play out. Um, so there's a chicken there as well, apparently, which, well, the young ones will lap up as well. Free KFC, apart, they've, apart from they've just charged you £10 for that. Uh, they basically charge you £10 for diarrhea, which is, which is great. Thank you, Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, up here then, onto the left, up into this little house area. This is where the hunt is. Um, so you can go ahead and uh, do the squeeze through, bit of skill right there. And you can grab, uh, I think that's just an apple or a berry or something, or a can. It's another apple, so they're pretty, pretty full. I'm surprised they're not crapping their pants right now. What we're we going to do, we're going to jump down here and then turn to the left. Yes, we are. And there's going to be a whole bunch of dogs in cages, as we're going to see. We're just going to go under them. We can't actually do nothing for them. Sorry, mate. But up here, we are going to press the A button to just jump up. Go to the left and just wander across. Now, this is where the hunt skill is performed. So, little uh, Derek right there. I don't know why his, de his name's Derek, but he's going to fall. And then we eventually will get the prompt to press the Y button. There it is. And that is the fourth out of six skills complete. Hunt. Hi there. My name is Hunt. Mike Hunt. And then that's pretty much it. Uh, that is pretty much it for this area now. So now we are going to start heading to the home. Uh, now this area, to sort of get home, can be slightly confusing sometimes. So we head to the left as we drop down. Yeah, don't keep looking, we're gonna drop down. We're heading to the right. So again, even though it will tell you the way home, your bloth, uh, bloth, um, as we just uh, roll this down, that sort of um, unlocks another path for us there. But your, your path can be blocked sometimes by enemies or you know something else so like but like i said that's why there's around two or three different places to get home so if it's telling you to go one way and you can't get through that way for some reason just nip another way and you'll get home it'll tell you this sort of it, it's like a you know one of them sat navs for some reason it'll tell you the longest way to go first before you get blocked and then they go oh, actually there's a shorter way which will save 10 minutes off your destination spanky very much <laughs> twat nav so uh yeah so I obviously didn't tell you sort of where to go there, uh, just because uh, the game is telling you where to go. But this is the scavenger. This is what I mean from the first year. If you didn't see him in the forest, this is where we see him for the first time. Soon as he turns around, you don't actually have to crouch. You can just walk past him. Um, but as soon as he turns around, then you can sprint to get to the next area. I got lucky with that, to be fair. I got very lucky. But you don't actually have to uh, crouch. As soon as he turns his light, you can just walk normally, and then if he turns around, you can just sprint uh, to the other side till you get to safety. So, comes in handy, mate. Um, yeah, because, you know, crouching just takes too long. Now I'm like, run, 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 screw this! There we go. So as soon as you get past him, then, it's a straight shooting left time. So, night 17, we are going to be grabbing another miscellaneous achievement called Maternity. 
so to get this one, we're going to go all the way to the right. And basically, we're just going to be doing a little... Where we were with the scavenger right there, we're going to be basically doing that again. But saving a small badger. If you're on maternity in the UK, you have learned... You've basically got to um, learn how to hunt. You've got to turn into a fox, learn how to hunt. Because they give you £600 a month. And that is absolutely nothing when you've got all this baby crap to buy for. Plus trying to pay bills and live. So, again, fantastic stuff there from the UK government. Bending us over... Completely dry, no lube, oil or nothing. So anyway, here is the maternity start of it then. So you can see the badger, for some reason he can't get down. Uh, pretty pansy badger. So, this is what we're doing. All we have to do is basically go all the way to the right. And as you can see, as soon as he starts to shine his light on us, we can sprint to the other side. So that's what I meant uh, when I said that earlier. So just give it a wait. Normally, if he doesn't turn all the way, if he only turns sort of halfway... Chances are he's going to turn back quite quickly, so just be aware of that one as well. Um, but yeah, so all you need to do is just go all the way to the right, then you'll see the young badger. And then all you've got to do is just go all the way to the left, pick up the badger with the X button in your mouth. And then you've just got to go all the way back left until you reunite that son of a monkey. W which is a badger. A son of a badger, of course, I meant to say. Don't you dare die tonight, fox meat makes a pretty good soup. Well, congratulations, Mother Fox. You are foxing fantastic. So, we head to the left. We're going to jump down on these little bits of platforms right here. There was an enemy literally just to the left of us, as you can see. But, um, well, that's why we didn't go past him. So, we are going an alternate route back to our homely, humbly abode. So, we're going to jump off this log. This scene right here is going to become very um, frivolent. I think that's a word, right? Um, <laughs> at the end of the game anyway, or more towards the end of the game. So go to the left, there is a chicken here. What you can do to get him out the pen is bark. And then, of course, just press the A button there to nom nom nom. And then give him to your kids, so you don't eat. Which again is basically like um, Britain these days. You either eat, or you put your heating on. Luckily it's summer though. But in October and winter, well, we're all screwed, aren't we, everyone in Britain? Grande. So, press and hold the... <laughs> Can't wait to freeze my tits off doing recording. So, down here, then we're going to the left. Uh, we're basically heading home then. Uh, now, there's not a lot else... Uh, not a lot else... Lot... Le there's nothing else for us to do is what I'm trying to get out there. So, follow the leader, leader, leader. Follow the road home.
On to night 18. There we go. Right. In this night, we are be going to grabbing the 13th out of 16 um, omnivores, which is a lunchbox. But for now, it is a purple scent. Follow the line of life. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Coke addicts really enjoy that. Follow the line. <laughs> okay. Uh, but now, all we're doing is following the purple scent for now until, of course, we sniff and interact with three items. By the way, if you're missing a can from the Omnivore, here is a perfect opportunity to get it. That's if you uh, haven't got it. Of course, the, the only problem with that is you don't know which food that you've got and which you haven't got. So, if you're following the guide, you should now definitely be at least on 12 out of 16. But, again, there's no way to tell. So, hopefully, though, you are all good. Jump over the trap. Badger's going to unlock this part for us, which makes life lots easier. And we still follow the leader, line leader. Na 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 leader! So, after this one, be careful, don't go running off to the left, I'll show you why. There are two chunky boys, which I believe will strike you down. So, with that one all good, we're just going to head all the way back to the right. We are now going to grab the lunchbox. Uh, the lunchbox of life. So, if you need a bit of cheering up, you know, get your kids sucking on your eight nips and that. Probably sounds wrong, I meant as the fox, obviously, you know. I wouldn't dare dream of anyone having kids suck their eight nipples. Who's got eight nipples? Anyway, we're going to go in through the gap where the badger um, uh, unlocked a path for us. And we're going to keep heading to the right. Again, bit of digging if you need it, but I'm pretty good. So we're going to head up here. Jump up once. No need to jump up twice. We're going to head down. And this is exactly where the lunchbox is then. So you need to press the X button to get it out. It's, it's just an apple, but you need to press the X button to get the food out, have the kids eat it, and then that will count, or the apple meat, whatever it was, but that will count as the lunchbox. And I believe this is the only location that the lunchbox is at. So make sure that we've got that one done, and then we are pretty much... Yeah, I think we're pretty much squared away now, golden to go. There may be an enemy here for you. Um, if there's not... You should be able to just go left and start following the way home. I have to go the long way because apparently some selfish douchebag decided to have a little party and wanted to kick my head in. Even though I could have probably just bit his finger and moved on. Uh, but still. So if that happens, just follow the long way home um, and you'll be fine. But that is exactly where we're heading. Nothing else to do now for night 18. Uh, go home, my friend. Go home.
Now, I thought this was the same bit that I was at earlier, but it turns out it's not, because the, I don't know if that's the same enemy that's just come from the other side, you know. So, uh, mate, I'm tired, I've been up all night, and get the crap out of my way, douchebag! Uh, but luckily, he just, um, he doesn't care about the kids, he just wants to kill us for some reason. The meteor, the bigger, the better. But anyway, now we're all good, <laughs> we've gotten past angry douchebag, let's go home for Rizzle this time. For Rizzle. God, I sound like the whitest guy in the world. So we are now on to night 19 and there is nothing of note that is going to happen in this one. We don't have any new skills to find, we haven't got any new food to find, anything like that. So, um, yeah, there's, there's just not a lot going on. It's, I think it's just going to be one of those that um, we're just going to find a whole bunch of food. Uh, this seems that this, I believe, is like the biggest area in the game. I think this, uh, yeah, I think this one is the biggest area in the game, so. Uh, now, I'm not sure if, remember the achievement barking doesn't bite or whatever it was earlier where we uh, barked at the guitar player? I'm not sure if it counts there. You'll have to let me know if you didn't get the achievement earlier, but um, it's obviously always worth barking at the guitar player just in case it does work. But, obviously, if it doesn't, then you know the only time we can get it is on night seven. So obviously always watch out for the scavenger as well, as we uh, just keep heading to the right for the time being. So from here, when we finally get past the scavenger, we're going to jump down and we're going to go to the left. And we are actually going to use one of those scratching posts to, uh, you know, throw him off the scent. Basically, we're just going to piss on it. Is, is what we're going to do. So jump down, go to the right. This uh, piss post is going to be here. There it is. So yeah, like I said, there's nothing left to do. This is just one of those nights where we're going to find food for our cubs. And we're just basically going to go home. Uh, but because I haven't got much health, as we keep going to the right here. Again, if you want to do some hunting, you can. But the rabbit's actually gone in his hidey hole. Ah, come back. Come back, rabbit. I must have you for chicken rabbit soup. Nah, there we go. Um, but yeah, it is just one of those. Sometimes, if you've got basically full health, you can literally just go to the right, come back, and then just go on to the next night. But here, I don't have much health, so that is why I'm just going on my jollies for a moment, using the scratching post. And of course, just get in full health and not have it be taken off me for finishing the night too early. So, when we get to the weird house, I mean, everything's a bit weird in this game. There's a car that says stay out, even though the car doesn't look like it can drive. But we're heading up. So, jump up here. 
And then there is going to be every time we come here on this night, I'm not sure if it's different for any other nights, but this will always happen. So we're going to jump up just past the house on these boxes. And there is going to basically be one box on the left-hand side for us to knock over. So our little beautiful darling children can eat mouse. And as we jump back down, we're going to go... Nyah! And that guy has the worst aim in the world. The worst aim in the world. Um, so since he's doing that, he won't chase you. As soon as we jump down here and go to the left, he'll... So instead of just like... He was literally looking at us, but so instead of just jumping down and then following us, he'll actually just go, eh, Where they gone? Must be my senile, senile-icity. Senile-icity is a word, right? Well, it is now anyway, courtesy of me. So we're all good with it. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? 133. So I believe right now I am just going to start heading to the home. Um, if I actually know the correct way to go. Of course, which would always come in handy. So, yeah, that's all we're doing then. Nothing else to do here for the night. We've got that little cutscene bit out of the way. Again, not sure if that's like a story-related progression kind of cutscene or whatever. But, well, we've done it anyway. So, uh, let's go home. We've earned it. Welcome to the show! That is night 20 out of 29. So, this is another one that we're just going to grab a little bit of food and then we're basically going to come home. So we're heading to the left first. Um, we're going to jump down to the left here because there is a little apple tree again. Um, now I always find it's worth showing you where these little locations and things are as we jump over the trap. Just in case that you're on a lot less health or a lot less hunger bar than I am. So there is a little apple tree right here. So make sure your little kiddly stinks grabs that before they, uh, you know, they scream in your face and go nuts because... Oh, wait, how stupid am I? Um, so, again, try not to get yourself injured and stuff. But yeah, well, if anyone's got toddlers, you know how it goes. You know, you get screamed at for walking out the room to go and pee your pants. That's, you know. Daddy, can I eat this bobble? No, I wouldn't. You'll choke and stuff. Ah! Okay, okay, well, ah, uh, it's just, it's a delight, toddlers are delightful. So anyway, what we're going to do from here, heading obviously to the left now, as I, my stupidity got me all injured and stuff. So what we're actually doing is heading to the left, but basically you're going to go to the main sort of chicken farm area. 
So we're not going to jump up here, the scavenger. <laughs> That's where he stays all night. Mate, you need a goddamn new hobby, bro. How You already look jacked up. Why don't you just join the gym, do some powerlifting, bodybuilding? You don't need to hunt foxes, do you? Specifically for protein, you might as well just go and get a protein shop from... Oh, there's literally a chicken farm right there. Go to the chicken barn, you don't have to hunt foxes. What do we ever do to you, douchebag? So, uh, sorry, I just rambled on there as we go and get this uh, my, my little one and a half inch up popping out on screen again for you. I know you like it. So when we jump up, we're going to go to the right. We're heading basically just towards the chicken farm. Um, but again, this is something that you don't actually have to do. If you've got enough, um, if you've got enough hunger, maybe an enemy to the right of you. So just be careful. Wait for him to bagger off, or just you know bite his <laughs> bite his nads, whatever. Uh, but we are going to just head through the gap right here. But like I said, this is another one where you can just, if you've got enough hunger um, and your health bar's all good, you can literally just walk around for a bit and go back and just lose a bit of health if you so wish. We jump up from the left and we are basically just going to go in this gap. And then from here, what we're going to do, as soon as we get this, it's going to start breaking daytime. We are just going to head home. So here we are then, night 21, prepare to say goodbye to the aeroplane um, engine thing, because we are about to get to a new area. So night 21 is one of those uh, senti follow the leader lines. So um, yeah, you, you go ahead and do that. I have full faith in you that you know what you're doing with this by now. My faith in Jeebus is Jeebified.
So welcome to the third and final layer. Here we are then. We're at this kind of broken down amusement park ride or something. But this will be it. So again, a very short night, but it should get us another two achievements called Never Let Down and Hard Fox Life. Right then, so there's a few things that we're going to be doing, including getting the rest of the food and everything. So, go to the right, wait for the scavenger right there. I got lucky with that one again. So again, this is just another new area, sort of just to get used to. It's not too bad, though, when you know where you are. Um, Molly gives us some more food, but in return, we give her death, apparently. We've given her, like, fox aids or something. I don't know, whatever's going on in the world, um, Molly's not having a good time, as you'll be able to see. Probably, yeah, that'll probably do it. If you're hugging, you know, unwashed, diseased foxes, you're probably going to get ill from it. So, yeah, I probably highly advise against that. And and your butt cheeks might get bitten and stuff. So I do advise against it. Right, so, going to the right, there will usually always be an enemy marker there, but don't worry about that. We're going to jump down. We're going to head to the left. These guys are not your enemy. Oxygen is a right. Well, yes, it is. That's a very, uh, very good point. Point, poignant point. Um, I do like my oxygen, to be honest. It helps me be alive. Uh, so we're going to go underneath the woods. Just keep going to the left. Yeah, no, keep going to the left. Sorry, I was uh, just waiting for me little kitty stink to um, uh, join us. Uh, we're going to mark up one of these posts again. Mark up the piss part. And then what we're going to do, head to the left. Again, don't worry about the guys in the middle. They are not your enemy. Only chunky roid head is. So we're going to climb up this pipe now. When we get up here, we're going to go to the left. In fact, yeah, go to the left, sorry. Go to the left. And from here, we're going to jump down. Sorry, I thought we were jumping immediately down. Here is the 14th out of 16th omnivore. It's a packet of crisps. So go on, lads. Stick your nugget in there, lads. And that will be number 14 out of 15. So we've got two left and we're going to get the Omnivore achievement in this night. Plus a new skill as well. So go to the right. Be careful. The scavenger, of course, as you can see, is there. Old scavenge head. Why do you carry that big bag on him all the time? You, If you just got a sniper rifle, just carry some ammos. Or, you know, literally play some C4 or something there. I don't know, but it's got to be better than what he's doing, standing there every night. So go all the way to the right. Don't jump down here. This isn't the one. It's not that particular one. No, 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 no. Climb back up. Not this one. It be the next one. And here is the next one. Yeah. Jump down from here and start heading back to the right. And we're actually going to be coming up to a new, uh, a new factory or whatever it is. Kind of looks like a robot factory. So jump off these pipes. Because if you kept going right, you'll be back um, in your layer. So we're going to jump off the pipes here and go to the right. Jump back down. And here we are then. Liars! So let's get the last two omnivores, shall we? So jump up here. Make sure not to go straight on because you get shot and stuff. Make sure to go right here. And now the enemy reticle is red. Reticle, whatever the hell it is, but it's red, so I don't know. That's why I'm crouching. I don't know if I walk in, he'll just turn around and shoot me dead. But we need to basically go to this little um, vent that's opened up. This is the 15th. Um, yeah, 15th omnivore, sorry. It's a stick bar, it's called. It comes up as a burger, but it's actually called a stick bar. So that is where you get that number 15 from. You can get it a little bit earlier in the game as well, but I missed that one, but that's fine. So we are going to get one more. We're going to eat and destroy a KFC pigeon. So jump down here, and now we're going to climb up this uh, container. Keep going straight, and then, of course, we're going to climb square up the pipe -o. 
Now, your two kids will stay there, but don't worry about them. They'll be fine, just fine. Right, climb up onto this box. Now, be very, very careful here, because the pigeons obviously can easily fly away. So, crouch immediately. And then, as soon as you see the A button prompt, press it. I missed it. But, don't worry, if that happens, there is another pigeon to your left. And if you manage to miss that one, there's literally loads of pigeons as we start walking around. So, don't panic if you miss these two. But, there is... There's the other one. So, I managed to get that one this time. Now, what should happen is, here is the next skill dangle as well, but the achievement should unlock for you. For some reason, uh, my game had a bit of a weird moment where the pigeon just knobbed off a bit. Normally, your cub will go over and be like, woof, woof, then we go over, press the Y button, and then we will learn the dangle skill. Dingle dangle. Um, but apparently, we've gone a bit senile and a bit nuts. Very much like Grandpa Pig. Um... I mean, if you've played the Peppa Pig game, you'll know where he was shoveling absolutely nothing for ages. That's senile. But luckily, it all uh, kicked in, and we're all good. So that's a five out of six skills, and now you should unlock the Omnivore achievement. If not, then just have a look through what you think you may have missed, um, and obviously try and get that before the end of the game, because remember, there's no new game plus, there's no chapter select. So if you haven't got it, have a look through the timestamps. Just go to each sort of location, um, and you'll be able to easier because we'll be coming up to a, a couple of things called Badger Shortcuts, which um, help uh, gives us basically shortcuts throughout the entire world. Uh, but hopefully, like I said, you've been, you've been carrying on anyway, you've been following the guide well, and you will have unlocked the Omnivore achievement. So, with that one, what we're going to do is start heading home. Um, so, yeah bro, head home. So, night 23. Now that we've got the dangle skill, we can actually go and get another very easily missable achievement called the Easter Egg. Um, so, what we're going to do first for this, uh, just for the first bit then, obviously always make sure to watch out for the scavenger, but we're going to be doing a little bit of scent lining. <laughs> Whoa, almost shot me square in the ass tail. Um, so, yeah, follow the purple lines, do all this first, and then we're going to grab the golden Easter egg, which you can only get with the dangle, dingle dangle skill, which we've got as I dangle my one and a half inch worm to all the world. Uh, when the cubs pick it up, of course, that's, that's what I meant. Dangling worms up them. Anyway, follow the scented lines for, for now, and do a bit of hunting as well, if you uh, so wish. So, a couple of new things we're going to do then. We are going to basically go back almost to our house. Uh, but we are going to use one of the badger shortcuts for, for the first time. Not this one. Uh, so what we do, go all the way to the right here. Jump down and start heading back to the left. 
Oh, a beautiful night sky full of death and homelessness. Jump up onto this cliff. If you need a bit of cheering up here, of course, uh, make sure to get your cubs to suck your nips and what have you. Jump up onto this cliff again. Or this edge, sorry, not cliff. Again, keep having a look at the map because we're almost there. Scavenger at... Scavenger, scavenger, scavenger. Steroid infused scavenger. Wait until he turns around, of course. Bit harder to see from this time. Um, but as soon as the light's gone, you know, you're pretty much golden. So, ah! Go away. Right, so from here, we're going to jump down just by our house there. So, jump down, go to the left, and we're going to use this badger shortcut. So, where we're going to end up now is basically in the very, very starting area where we got the, where we caught the fish for the first time. So this is the area that we're in. Of course, some uh, enemies and stuff may appear for you. Um, obviously, if they do, you know what to do by now. But all we're doing for now is just heading to the right. Uh, can't remember if there was one. There is one. There he is. Which I thought he was actually just a chill dude. Um, but as it turns out, nope, he's got his COVID mask on. Look. And he wants to eat some fox ball for soup. You want to eat some fox testes, mate? No. <laughs> Have that up, you chunky nuggets. Dickweed! So, with that boy taken care of. So we bit him, but we get injured. Well, fair enough. Obviously, try and jump over the trap so you don't die, because that would be a hell of a waste of uh, time. You'd have to just go through all that again. Um, so we're going to dig under here. Now, when you see where the golden egg is, you think, Jesus Christ, that's bloody annoying. But we're going to keep going to the right. I'm not sure if you can actually sleep in the lair right there. Lair. Lair? Lair. It is lair, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure if you can sleep in that one or if we have to go all the way back. I end up going all the way back. Uh, obviously, just to make it easier for us. But we jump down. We go to the right. This location, I don't think, was available to us earlier anyway. So, just keep heading all the way to the right. Going through all the disgusting trash that the humans... Which we are pretty disgusting and vile when we want to be. We can be good, but we can also be disgusting, which, uh... I mean, I suppose it would be a good balance if it wasn't like 80% 80, 80 of dirty, lazy people like myself. Um, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not that bad. I want the environment to be all cool and for us not to die and stuff. Uh, but there, here is the Easter egg anyway, so... don't You don't need to grab your fox, just wait until he stop, um, cub starts looking over the edge, press the Y button... And that is the golden easter egg of life. And that will be, I believe, the... You no, know, we've got one more sort of missable achievement uh, left to grab. But they eat the golden easter egg. Man, that gold tastes good. Because it gives them full health. And uh, yeah, and that gives us the easter egg achievement. So it's mad to think that it was just right by the starting location where we first started the game this whole time. <laughs> But since it is, there we go. So what we're going to do then, we are basically going to head all the way to the left, jump up, uh, jump up here, keep going all the way to the left, again, underneath the fence, and then go all the way to the left where we find the fish to go back through the badger shortcut, and then head yourself on home, broski broski. So we're on to night 24 now, and this is basically just another one of those nothing nights. So I'm going to tell you exactly, exactly what I do. We go to the right. We jump down here. Oh, in fact, no, we don't, sorry. Oh, no scavenger this time. Nice. Could be random again if he's there for you or not. This is where we're going to jump down, and then what we do, I'm just going to literally keep going right until we end up back in our house. So that is it. There is literally nothing to do. 
Um, again, so again, if you need to do a bit of feeding, of course, you can do that. You can have a look. Just go and have a look for some food. Since I've got a pretty good uh, chunk of health bar, I'm just going to take a detour all the way to the right without dropping down or going up anything. Just going all the way to the right until we end up back in our lair and finish off this night. But of course, because I've gone back early, I am going to uh, lose a significant chunk of health. But that's fine. I can't be asked waiting around anyway. And now on to night 26. So this is another one of the senti line uh, sort of nights. So that's all we're going to be doing is just following the line. But what we're also going to do is get... Uh, this is pr I'm pretty sure this is unmissable as well. But we're going to get our sixth and final skill for deactivating traps in roughly about a minute and a half. So just keep following the scented deliciousness candle lines for now. Right, so that's the third one done. Now to get the deactivated traps, in fact, no, you can miss it. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was automatic and you couldn't miss it, but you can miss this one. It's very easy to. So from there, turn to the right, go underneath these wood, and then jump up. So very important to jump up here. Then go to the right. Now this is an automatic sort of scene, so we're just going to keep walking to the right. The scavenger will turn around as soon as you walk into the trap. Sorry, you don't need to jump up there. Nope, I just got a bit uh, tr trigger finger happy. Just keep going underneath, and this is where it is then. So, walk straight into the trap. Now, this is a bit of a time section. Very, very easy, but you've got to press the Y button here as soon as it goes on. They're going to be like, Oh, bro, I was just chilling with you, man. I don't need your goddamn foxes. But the cubs get me out, deactivate traps, and we get the achievement. You should have the achievement for a better tomorrow and then we can dig our way out. Again, if you don't have it, have a look at the timestamps, and um, you'll, you will have to go back. Remember, as I've said before, no chapter select as we jump up to the pipes, go to the right, that's the end of this night. But remember, I know I keep saying, but there is no new game plus, no chapter select, so any missable achievements that you may have, or any 
uh, skills or anything that you may have missed, have a look at the timestamps and go and get them before we finish night 29. So this is pretty much another pointless night, night 26, so I, I literally do the same thing as I've done in night, whatever it was, 23, so go past here, the scavenger for me is here this time, uh, but what you can do is press the Y button here to deactivate the trap, and let you scavenger bum bag, but he still will turn around this time, so be very careful of that one. As soon as the guy with the bag bigger than him for some reason turns around, run to the right, Now, there's a bit of a big edit thing here, which I, I very much messed up. Uh, nothing too bad, but I was just lost for some reason. So as we jump off here, if you just keep going to the right, see these pipes coming up in front of us? Do not jump up there. If you just keep going to the right, underneath the pipes that we're coming up to, then we will get home here. Um, so what I actually done was I jumped up onto the pipe and ended up getting lost for about five minutes. <laughs> so all you got to do is cheat, just keep going to the right underneath the pipes and within literally 10 to 15 seconds you will end up back at the lair, our house. So again, apologies, that was a bit of a, a, a bit of a crappy edit right there, but I messed up big time. <laughs> so I do apologize about that one. Um, so like I said, it was literally just going right, jumping down and going to the right until we're back home. So... Night 27 then, this is another one of these scenty purple deliciousnesses that we are going to follow. Again, if you want to do some hunting, you can do some hunting on the way. Mike Hunt really indoors, he adores hunting. Yes he does. Thank <laughs> you. 
So once we've got all the three scented lines, there is nothing else to do now except go home, take a home, take a spin and drive all the way home. Uh, but there is one way which uh, I was originally going to go, because I think it's a shorter way, but there was an enemy in my way, and even when you attack him, he doesn't let you past. So I'll show you exactly which one it is now. Uh, for some reason, um, th these guys got balls the later we got into the game here, didn't they? So jump down, head to the right. Now, if we head up to the right here... Um, normally, I don't think there'll be an enemy right here. I I'm pretty sure there's not going to be an enemy. Uh, again, but it's all random, of course. Uh, but I think this is the shorter way home, so... Uh, yeah. I end up thinking, right, let's kill you dead, bro. Because he's coming back anyway. Come on and let's have you, dude. Enough. But apparently, buy him in on the nugget balls doesn't work because he just stamps his foot away. So, yeah, sad. Sadly, that's pretty annoying. So we have to go once again. I think it's probably the longest way home. So, but that's all we're doing anyway. Um, so this guy's where we are going. He's going to jump down and go to the right. So you need to just keep following the other way home. But follow to the way home, friends. Okay, so are we ready to get depressed, people? Yeah, depression, 2022! Uh, we are, once again, just following the scented lines. This time, though, it's, um, well, it's going to be quite a sad little situation that we're going to find ourselves in. But, and this is very important, there is a missable achievement that we can miss. And that's only if you don't let the animation play out. So, um, that's very important. It's, it's going to be the last missable achievement that we get. The rest should be uh, story-related, providing that your cubs are still alive and you get all four. Um, but yeah, this will be the last one. So again, for now, just follow the scentedness. No, mate, me thinks Molly's lost it. And by lost it, I mean her actual life. Uh, I assume, because he's looking not as angry and a bit more sad, which is just... Ah, uh, it's not good. Uh. See? So that's all... So that's all it takes, then, is, um... You know, for someone to get a bit of empathy and everything, that's all it takes is, apparently, for someone's young daughter to... 
Yeah, which uh, was pretty a wrong use of the word <coughs> which is not a word, but still. Um, yeah, so if you ever want, if you know a hard ass and you wanted to have some empathy, empathy just, no, don't tell him to have a deceased daughter, that's not good. Um, no, so what, this is the missable achievement anyway, so you need to get him to pet you, but you need the animation to play out. So you'll get these two achievements automatically anyway. Now I literally almost missed this one, and I almost got myself super pissed off. You need to press the up on the D-pad there to get a little pet, but you have to wait and not disturb the animation until it unlocks. As you can see, you see a little edit skip there, didn't you? No, I know you did. Uh, but you have to let it play out until the achievement unlocks. If you start walking to the left before it plays out, you'll miss the achievement, and then if you uh, miss the night, you'll literally have to play the whole game again to get to this point. So that was the last one. Just make sure then that you've got that achievement done. And then, Skablamo Marge! We're on our way! Now, um, I think your hunger bar may take a bit of a hit, potentially. If you've already got low hunger, it does take a little bit of a hit when we get our fourth fox cub. Uh, but as, again, as long as you've got the four, we are in a golden nuggety position. So what we're actually doing then is heading home now. If it is still, if it's daytime for you, of course, you can just follow the arrows and ignore this part. But if it's in night time, I'm just going to show you, I think this is the quickest way home. So we jump down, we go to the right. And then what we're going to do is keep going. We're actually going to be heading up once again. But now here, do not press the B button to call your dogs, because uh, your cubs. If they do... It means, I think, it means they're tired and they won't actually deactivate the trap for you. So, and you have to wait around for a minute or two until they relax over their rancho. So, just wait until they come. Press the Y button there. They're going to deactivate the traps. If you end up activating it, obviously a guy's going to come and he's going to try and chase you. And that, my friends, is one arm's pain ass in the assholes. You know? Pain in the butt, as it were. So, keep heading to the right. No, not jumping down that one. But what we're doing is going to head up this one. Now we're going to start heading to the right again. I believe, I think there's the scratching post that you can use as well. Nope, we're just heading um, up again and heading to the right. No scavenger here this time, so up your butt. And there we go. In fact, now we've got the lights. Um, we've got the way home. It's starting to become daytime, so keep on following the arrows home. Or if not, um, just keep going left and you're pretty much there. So this is it then, this is it, night 29, this is the final night of the game, but we do have like, I think it's like a 10 minute epilogue to play. So, um, what I'm actually going to show you, again, this is just one, if you want to just walk over to the right a bit, uh, get a little bit of food and head back to the, um, to the lair, just basically to finish it off, then you can do that, but what I'm actually going to show you is... What happened to Molly's dad, the scavenger? Ah, god damn it, it's an owl! Sorry, I must have missed that one. Get off, you goddamn Harry Potter thing! Thank you. Ah, right. So, go ahead, just go and uh, make your cub a little happy there by licking the crap out of its head. Um, so, yeah, like I said, now you can just go back home if you so wish. You literally don't have to follow me. What I'm only showing you is... I'm going to show you what happened to the scavenger, Molly's dad. So from here, we're going to jump up. We're going to go to the right. And I think this is very, um, again, kind of a, well, we'll see what kind of situation it is. But we jump down, go to the left. Um, 
Now, this is a deactivating trap, which you, you know, you don't have to deactivate if you want. You can just, you know, get run away and have a bit of fun before we finish. But if not, wait for your cubs and deactivate that crap. Jump down and this is what we're going to see. What happened to the scavenger? Holy sugar balls, man. So for some reason, someone decided to stick an axe in his chest. Oh no, my daughter's gone. I'm so sad. Here, can someone stick an axe in my chest? Unless he'd done it himself. He was obviously maybe that suicidal. Or he was just that upset about climate control and that. Who knows? Anyway, that is what happened to the scavenger. Um, I end up just feeding the kids a piece of chicken. And that's it. That is it. That is literally all I wanted to show you was just what exactly happened to the scavenger. So very, very sad actually. It's a really sad um, bit of stuff that happened right there. I don't know where he chucked Molly though. No, uh, I don't see many funeral homes around here and graveyards and stuff. Um, but no, sorry. No, I shouldn't joke about that. But um, no, we are now going to be heading home. So follow the way. Let us go home. Let us finish this. So that's the end of the night. We found our missing curb. We found out what happened to the rest of them. I'm not actually going to say... I highly advise uh, showing... I, I, look, look at the cutscene is what I'm trying to say. So look at the cutscene. Uh, because it's very sad what happens. But Mother Fox is still here. Still good. Looks like um, looks like somebody voted for Kang and Kodos. <laughs> so all we got to do then... Go to the left when we get up. We're a bit, uh, you know, hurting a bit. But our four cubs are going to be here, so we need to go in, grab them with the X button, and just chuck them out on the side here. Now, this epilogue is around 10 minutes or so. Um, I, honestly, there's really not a lot to do. We've got, if I have a little count, one, two, three, four, five, six. So as long as you've only got six achievements left, you want to have a check of your achievement tracker. You should have six achievements left, which, as long as you, all four cubs have survived, you will get that, uh, no problem, and you would have completed the game. But the epilogue, as soon as you get all four cubs out, all you need to do is go to the right, dig now and, uh, dig now and again, um, you know, have a look at some other stuff, but all we're doing is basically heading to the right for the next sort of eight minutes or so. It's fun, it's fun.
Nee, nee. 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 Quick. Get in. Get in. Don't look back, you stupid son of a... God damn. Jesus. You got shot in the ass. Oh, that's the worst part for a fox. But watch how angry this guy gets now. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of its balding hair. Because I'm not being funny if you hit... No offence, if your head looks like that, honestly, I would just get rid of it by now. Um, get rid of the hair. There's just no point trying to keep that. No point trying to save it. Comb over kings as you are. Uh, maybe even queens as well. Um, but yes, he got very angry that he couldn't eat the deliciousness. Although, looking at that fox, that's more rabied up than delicious, to be fair. Um, yeah, but this is... <laughs> this is it. This is the end. The end of the game. It's extremely sad, and you've literally gone through all that... So he gets shot in the ass in the leg. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go cry. B. So, Mother Fox died. That's 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 the gist of it, then. She's left behind four kids and a, a badger, apparently. Um, yeah, yeah, so we don't know what happened. That's it, the game ends. We don't know what happened to the kid. There's no, like, five years later where they're all like, Hey, we're all good now, we're still sad, but we're all good. Nope, it just shows the um, dead Mother Fox with her four alive kids. Um, so, yeah. Cracking, depressing ending there. But again, very, I think it very much highlights the uh, importance. Very lot of subtle yet clear messages in this game. But, obviously more important than dead foxes. Um, we should now, what I'm going to do is just leave all the achievements unlocked on screen. But you should now have all 20 out of 28. You should have six out of si the six achievements for finishing the game, getting all achievements... And the four related achievements for um, getting all four cubs with you. So, the, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. That was Endling Extinction is Forever. Now, I really, really enjoyed the game. It was such, such an awesome pleasure to play and record and everything. There's the delicious rare achievement as well. So hopefully you've got all achievements as well. If you found the guide helpful as well, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Um, big shout out again to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. A lot of cool stuff are going to be coming on Patreon as well in terms of merch and things like that. So keep your eyes peeled. If you're not on it, go and take a look if you so wish, if you so want to. And there we go then, guys and gals. So, awesome game. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so, so much for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs> big love.